Hey everyone, welcome to a new video, welcome to my channel. My name is Maika, welcome to Floating in Dreams. This is my hobby YouTube channel and on this channel we chat about makeup as well as a sprinkling of fashion from time to time. And today I'm coming to you with the first part of my blush collection and we're focusing on creams and liquids. And the reason why I wanted to do this video is because my December month is not going the way I planned and I was like, you know what? I love playing around with makeup and just swatching things and I was like, if I'm gonna go and do that anyways for funsies, I might as well film it and show this to you. So let's get started. In case you are a new viewer and you've never watched any of my videos, hi, welcome. My name is Maika. Welcome to the channel. I'm going to be ch chatting to you about blush, as I just mentioned. If you are not new here and you're a regular viewer, then you kind of know the drill. Um, I'm going to be talking to you about a lot of my makeup products. I've already talked about foundation and concealer in this sort of... Uh, capacity and today we're doing blush. I'm gonna give you mini reviews so show you all the swatches and I did this kind of concept last year before I did declutters and That I really thought was a great idea It really helped me to sort of go through my collection first do all the uh, all the swatches show you show you everything I have and just sort of like have a grand old time and just rant about makeup and just rave about the things I love. Um, hopefully also if there's any holiday sales going on that it gives you an idea what you might wanna pick up yourself. Um, but that's not my main aim. My aim is truly just to show you what's going on. And since I've got just accumulated quite a lot of cream and liquid blushes over the year, I thought we could start there, talk about that first, and then I'll do a separate video with all of my powder blushes because I, I just realized as I was filming this, because I'm filming this intro for the second time, that I already have enough in terms of cream and liquid blush to just post a video. So I was like, let's just get this out of the way first and then move on to the powder blushes. So yes, powder blushes are coming and declutters are coming. It's just that I like to go over all the swatches and sort of helping myself decide and then do the declutter later on. So I'm sort of taking you along for the full ride. And any, anybody who's been watching my content for a while knows that about me. You all know that I like to be very dil diligent when I try makeup, that I really try to get use out of my products. I do regular, regular shop my stashes. I mainly focus on eyeshadow palettes in terms of reviews, but I also love trying Essence and Catrice products out and when it comes to things like this I just really want to like try things, get a good amount of use out of it and if there's things I don't love I want to also get those out of my collection. So I do declutters every single year and in sort of preparation for those declutters I thought we could first have a look, like an in-depth look with mini reviews and swatches of everything that's going on in my blush collection. So let's get started. So I've laid out all of my cream and liquid blushes for you so we can have a bit of a rave about these. Um, I think that this is where I've expended the most as I was already mentioning and I definitely don't like all of these things. There are definitely things that I've, I just bought to try to see if I like them, um, but that aren't my favorite. And then there are things where I'm like, yes, that's like top notch favorites. I actually did a video about all of my favorite cream and liquid cheek products. So that also included some picks for highlighters and, and bronzers. So I can leave that video linked down below. I did that in November. So if you'd like to see that, then uh, that's possible. Um, but let's just let's just get started. Um, there's definitely a couple of things that I love, and I want to ch I start with that for you. Uh, these are the I hope it's in focus. These are the Juicy Pang blushers. This is actually a K Beauty brand called Apieu, and this is in the sh shade Strawberry, and this is in the shade Raspberry. And these are lovely. These are some of my favorite liquid br blushes. I actually want to get more of these. I bought these off of Yes Style, and I did have a coupon code from Yes Style uh, as part of a promo uh, to when I bought these. So I did pay my own money for them, but I did have a coupon, just so you know. Um, and this strawberry shade is my favorite one of the two. It looks very peachy um, in the swatch. And then the raspberry one is a bit deeper and it's a bit plummy, more plummy in its undertone. I'll make sure to sort of try and blend them in a little bit as well so you can see. Let me see if I can just blend it in this way. 
this is a little bit more like the raspberry one is a, has a little bit more pigment to it so the strawberry one was my favorite this spring it was really natural really pretty and they blend in really nicely and they're actually a great dupe for what's going on here these these are the m cosmetics serum blushes i believe that's what they're called i had to buy quite a few of the m cosmetics blushes in one go to have enough products to qualify for free shipping uh, so that's why i have quite a few of these and these are a bit difficult to use so i hope i can show you but the only way you can use these is if you unscrew the lid and then you need to oh, take out all the air now this one did have product in so these droppers don't always have enough air in them to suck up the product um, so that's why they they are a little messy to use which is why i prefer the apiary ones but these are super glowy, really pretty. This is the shade Venetian Rose. And this was in my Shop My Stash for the month of December. Unfortunately, I haven't been wearing makeup at all this month. Because that's how bad I've been feeling. And I'll just quickly show you the other shades. So this, this doesn't have any product coming out, so I can show you. So you need to press down on the little dropper. Then put it in. And then it will suck up the product. And now it should work and have the product in there so that's how you need to make these work so you first need to test if there's actual product and if there's no product you need to do this but they do you can't really control how much product you get which is another reason why this is a bit of a faff to use but the product is lovely this is the shade pink nectar and this is cherry splash And this is rose milk. So I think I'll just do some of these liquid things first because I don't have too many of those. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand in the shade Pink Chasm. This is quite famous and I just kind of bought this on a bit of a whim. I wasn't, sh I wasn't even aware of how famous this was. I don't love the doe foot, but I do really like the shade. This is really, really pretty on the cheeks. This is really, really amazing. So I, I get the hype, but I wasn't aware there was a hype when I bought it. <laughs> this Rare Beauty liquid blush is really, really pretty as well. I have this in the shade Grace. Um, this one is a bit tricky to use, I find, though. Uh, it is a pretty shade, uh, but I find that this dries down really, really quickly. So you don't have a lot of, like, play time with this. Like, it just kind of sets really quickly. Like, this is already it. And you can barely move it around and it will move your foundation underneath it if you keep working with it so you really need to work it in fast and use a sponge to really make sure it it's a seamless blend and then we have the made by mitchell blush in where's the spf and i went with this really intense red shade because i was like i don't have that much of this kind of shade in my collection and this is super intense like literally a little goes a very long way as you will see like this is almost too much for me like this for me is just a little it's pushing it like this the cherry splash from m cosmetics that's the kind of red liquid blush i can get down with but this where it looks quite orange in the bottle i find that on my skin it it shears out more pinky toned which i do really like and i'm able to make this work but just look at my finger like look at how intensely pigmented this is this is like borderline too much and then we have the milani cheek kiss liquid blush in the shade berry smooch and I bought this because I was going to do a full face of Milani and I wanted to try some other of their some other blushes by them. Uh, this one I just didn't love. Like this is that really classic liquid blush that I, I, I already used when I was in my teens. And it's just a little like it moves around too much where the Rare Beauty has no play time this just barely stays put because it's so pliable it just doesn't really last throughout the day and it kind of smudges everywhere if you're not careful and then two of my least favorite liquid blushes that i tried all year the ColourPop cheek dew serum blushes i have this in sour cherry and the cherish you these came in their uh cherry crush collection i believe and i thought well that's great that those come in that collection because then i can try it because i really wanted to try some color pop liquid blushes as well but these are so watery and just i don't know 
they're patchy, like as you, as you can see here when I'm blending it out, like it's patchy, it's sticky, it's no bueno. And this is Cherish You, which has exactly the same issue, it's just a bit brighter. Um, but I didn't love these, the way they went onto the cheeks just wasn't pretty. Like, do you just see that? <laughs> it just kind of goes everywhere and not where you want it to go. So, no. So I've condensed it down just a little bit here, um, but I've got some stick blushes left here as well. So this is the Revol Hearts Me Blush Stick. This is in the shade Hibiscus, and this was sent to me. Uh, this is pretty, but it has a really strange sheen to it that is not that flattering and this, once you blend it in, it just kind of disappears and does nothing, unfortunately. This H&M Do It All stick in the shade uh, Berry Pink, it's pretty, but I haven't worn this on my cheeks yet, so I don't really know how this will perform, but I already know that sticks just isn't really my thing. Oh, this is also really tough to blend. Like, it's supposed to also work on your cheeks and your lips. So this is not the best for blending, I can tell. So um, can't wait. I still have to try it on my face though, but I won't, I, won't, I won't knock it until I've actually tried it on my face and I see what it does when I blend it in with a brush or a sponge. But with fingers on the back of my hand, I don't know. And then we have the Milk Makeup Blush Stick in the shade Quickie, yeah. Oh, it's got a screwed, screwed top mica. So this I did like, and I mo mainly like it because of the shade. Because one thing I have found that with a cream blush, I like it to be a little bit more intense. Because if it shears out like this does, then it still looks really natural on the cheeks. So that one, purely for the shade, because I don't have much like it in my collection, as you will see, something this dark and berry, almost plum leaning, I don't really have. Then the Charlotte Tilbury Lip to Cheek in Pillow Talk. That's what it's called, right? Color of Dreams. This comes in two shades, I believe. And I went with the lighter one of the two. And this, I haven't put it on my lips, but on the cheeks, it was lovely. This is almost the M Cosmetics serum blushes, but then in a cream formula. And just look at how smooth that looks. This blended into the cheeks, such a great shade. Charlotte Tilbury definitely does knows how to do a good cheek product, that's for sure. And then I have three of the ColourPop Super Shock blushes from their Wine and Only collection. This is in the shade Cruel Intentions, and I did like this, but it's matte, and that's not my favorite I have found in the Super Shock formulas. I do really like this, like, wine-colored pink. That's the way I would describe it. I do really like the shade, but I don't love the texture. And then I have Brute Flute, also from that same Super Shock collection. And this is nice. It does have a bit of a glow to it, which is what I prefer. Um, but the shade for, for this one was just a bit off. Like, this is just not that flattering on my skin tone, unfortunately. I think this will be lovely if you have a deeper skin tone. Then it could also almost work like a highlighter. Uh, but for me, it's just, it's not quite a highlighter. It's not glowy enough for it to be a glowy blush. And the shade is too deep for, for me to be, for it to look like a natural flush. Um, so for me, there's a lot that's just not right about this shade. It just doesn't go with my coloring. And the last one of these Super Shocks was actually my favorite. This is the shade Cheerio. And this is sort of like what I wished the other one, the matte one, to be, but then in a deeper shade. But I wish the matte one had this texture. Um, because again, this shade is a little bit too intense. But as I mentioned, I do really like just going in with a light hand with something like this and then using a sponge to blend it out. And then this is perhaps the best one of the three, because it has a texture I like, it has a little bit of glow, and it has a shade that goes with my skin tone. So this is the one that I would probably keep out of these three if this were a declutter. And then the newest addition in my cream family is the Melt Blush Light in Honey Thief. And at first, when these launched, these cream blushes from Melt, I was like, I wasn't sure whether I was going to buy these. I, I was like, they all look quite orangey, I'm not sure. 
But then Beauty Bay had 30% off of Melt on their Black Friday sales, and I was like, right. I wanted to try some Melt blushes, so let me really look into these. So I looked up swatches and looked at all that, and this shade is perfection. And this formula feels wet. And on the cheek, I can already tell. Like, this will be, yes, it's peachy, but it's got a, it's a, when I shear it out, it has quite a lot of pink to it. Do you see that? So I just know that in the winter time, I'm going to love a shade like this because it very much reminds me of the effect that I get from uh, some of the very light peachy shades that I love to wear in like January and February when I'm super pale. And then we have the Holika Holika Jelly Dough Blusher in the shade, uh, what was it called again? Rose Jelly. And this is a putty blusher. It comes with a little sponge. Uh, again, I bought this off of YesStyle. This is a K-Beauty brand. And this is a similar texture to, I would say, the ColourPop Super Shock Mattes, but then a little bit more... It's just, it feels more powdery almost like this is definitely a cream to powder and this on the cheeks is so so pretty it's one of my favorites for a reason next up is another k beauty find this is the juicy pang uh, cream blush jelly blusher that's what this is called and i believe this was in the shade red apple and i do like this a lot but i prefer the liquid ones from the same brand they're, they have this entire line with like Juicy Pang products on Yes Style, so definitely look into them. Um, this is really pretty. It's more like a muted red, and this is really, really pretty in the summertime because it gives your, your cheeks that sun-kissed look. This is the perfect blush for that TikTok trend where they place this reddish blush over their nose to give you that really sun-kissed glowy look. That's what this blush is perfect for. And then another favorite here, the Fenty Beauty Cream Blush in Strawberry Dip. I really like some out there shades in my creams, but this is so, so pretty. It's like a very vibrant, like a, a mix between red, a coral, and a hot pink. That's sort of how I would describe it. Strawberry Drip is, I think, the best name that this shade could have had because especially when I shear it out a lot of that orange tone that you see in the pan just kind of disappears and it definitely is more like a pinky red I love it and then we have the Milani cheek kiss in nude kiss and this I liked so much better than the liquid version of this this is very similar to the tower 28 so if this is difficult to get or if you find that too expensive, then definitely check out the Milani Cheek Kiss because I find them very similar in terms of texture. Not the shades, but the texture. And I did it, I don't have a lot of these like very nudie kind of shades in my cream blushes because I just like them to be a bit more vibrant. But this was really pretty and this is definitely one that I know I'll get a lot of use out of in like the springtime because that's when I want to wear this like it's like a warm pink, warm leaning pink, you could say. I really like this. And I love my Tower 28 blush in Beach Police Happy Hour. That's, a, that's what this is called. This shade I had difficulty tracking down. Um, so there are some shades that they do, but then they're not always in stock. I bought mine off of Revolve, but Tw Tower 28 is a little bit more widely available by now, and you can find this on Cult Beauty, I believe. So this, oh, they feel so similar. But this shade, like, it just, it just works. So my camera caught off and I just no noticed that it cut off right as I had swatched the Tower 28 in Happy Hour. Uh, this is just a perfect corally blush. You can just see a little bit of that glow coming through. It's, it's really, really stunning in like the spring summer season. I don't, I wouldn't wear this kind of shade sort of now. This is definitely more like a spring summer shade for me. And then we've got two left, the Rare Beauty in Nearly Rose. I know not a lot of people love this compact formula because it disappeared on me. It is very sheer. And I think if you have fair skin and you normally don't have a lot of issues with blushes disappearing on you, then I think you might like this. Nearly Rose is, for me, on my skin and what it does, I hope it I can show you this, but it kind of 
seems to disappear into nothing. My hand is also a little bit stained, so I hope you can see. But it very much reminds me of the effect I get from the rosy glow blush that Dior does. So I feel it is very reminiscent of this. It's very natural. It just gives you this really soft, flushy kind of look. It looks like nothing on the skin. This is just great for that barely there sort of look, you know, and that's what I love this for. And finally, the Giorgio Ormani uh, Neo Nude Melting Color Balm for Cheeks and Eyes in the shade 50. I'm not sure what this is called, but this is a great mauve. And I didn't really have a lot of mauve tones in my cream collection, um, so I wanted to try this. When I, The minute I spotted these, I was like, yes. And you can see it looks quite cool toned, but then when you actually blend it into the skin, it has quite a bit of brown actually, making it super duper neutral and really, really pretty on the cheeks. It's again more of a cream to powder kind of formula, um, but it is very thin and just kind of blends away into nothing, which is again what I prefer in my cream cheeks really. I don't want it to be that intense. Because I had to refilm the intro, I'm, uh, I had to lay out everything again anyway, so I was like, I might as well just come back and do the outro for this video as well. So thank you very much for watching today's video, everybody. Um, I hope you got something out of it, that it gives you an idea of like different formulas that are on the market as well, uh, different shades that I've got going on that I like to wear with my fair skin, and what some of the pros and cons are of these formulas. I hope it was useful. Um, so thank you very much for watching today. I really appreciate you sticking by. I got so many great comments from so many people when I had to take a break for a while. I'm definitely not back back to my usual posting schedule. I think maybe one video a week, but I'm not making any promises. I usually make three videos for those people unfamiliar with my content. But for now, I really hope you enjoyed watching this one. And then I hope to see you in my next one. And I hope that will be very, very soon. Bye for now. Bye-bye.